My name is Jamlik Mwangi Kariuki. My Chinese name is Kaliwu, and I come from Kenya. Last year, as a representative of the Kenyan students at Beijing Jiotong University, I started the initiative and then uh, wrote the letter to His Excellency, the President of the People's Republic of China. The Belt and Road Initiative, uh, we have a project in Kenya called Mongmei. When we were having a conversation about SGR, it looked far-fetched. Today, we have cargo, we have passenger on the SGR. We have real, tangible outcomes out of the SGR. So when this was being constructed, we had a very good railway, a modern railway, but Kenya lacked the capacity to be able to operate and maintain the railway. So that's when the government of Kenya and the government of the People's Republic of China came together and decided that they are going to sponsor 100 young Kenyans to come and study engineering courses related to railway engineering so that they will go back and be able to run the operations and maintenance of the Mongnetia Loop. I was one of them. Last year presented an, uh, a unique opportunity. So it was a good opportunity that brought everybody that was involved in this program in one room. So that's where the idea of writing the letter came from. You see that was in October last year. So early this year, in January around 23rd, that's when the reply came. Of course, we are very happy and excited. We are very proud of what has happened. At least uh, it has uh, brought so much jobs to our people. And uh, I'm very happy with the Chinese people. They are good people. They do their things perfectly well. As Kenya, we now feel we are in a good country. Thank you so much. And you guys continue partnering with Kenya. Thank you. thanking somebody most often you give them a gift or something yeah so we sent him a ticket a train ticket from Nairobi to Mombasa and invited um, his excellency president Xi Jinping to experience the Mongnate Yelu I just want to become a bridge. Eh? And how do I become a bridge? I must be able to be conversant with the culture of both, uh, let, let me say, Africa and China. I have to be conversant with the knowledge gaps. Uh, what knowledge does China have? What can we get from China? What can China get from us? Uh, this exchange, I want to facilitate such type of exchange.